Hello, it is Throwback Thursday, March 14th, 2024. Steve Cypress here, and we're throwing it all the way back to March 13th, 2017. That's right, yesterday, uh, uh, seven years ago yesterday, uh, was the first day that I recorded a Facebook Live video, and I've recorded a new one every single day since. Now, seven years and one day of recording a Facebook Live video every single day. Should have had a calculator here and done the math. Seven times 365 plus a couple of leap year days. So that's, uh, I don't know, about 2,500 straight days of recording a Facebook Live video. So it's not really happy anniversary to Facebook Live as a thing that started before I started recording them, although not long before I started recording them. But uh, there's a few lessons in this. Uh, number one, I've talked about a lot. Consistency is the key. I've had people contact me over the years. Man, I want to work with you because obviously you're someone who, when they say they're going to do something, they do it. Because I know you don't feel like doing a Facebook Live video every day. It's not always convenient. It's not always got to be the the thing you want to do best and no matter rain, shine, or whether you're feeling good or tired or this or that or wherever you are, you're always doing a Facebook Live video every day. That's the kind of person I want to work with. So that consistency helps, helps build trust, helps uh, show your character to people when you do something that you say you're going to do and you do it consistently. But also uh, a really big lesson, and I have to get this through to people all the time as I help them with their advertising and marketing is uh, somebody said uh, once, uh, I guess I'm paraphrasing, but it was something like anything worth doing is worth doing poorly until you get it right. And that certainly goes for anything in business, anything new you're doing. You got to remember what it was like when you first, well, you probably don't remember, but you can ask your parents when you first started to walk or when you first rode a bike, uh, likely you fell down a lot before you got it right. And so I re I rewatched through my Facebook memories. I rewatched yesterday my first ever Facebook Live video and oh, was it horrendous. Today I watched my second one ever equally just, or maybe even worse, it was just horrendous. And as I remember, it took me at least a couple of weeks, maybe 15 or 20 videos to uh, start being confident and start kind of doing them right. Well, I have to, I'm still not doing them right. I mean, look at this, I'm holding an iPhone up in my hand. I do not have what anyone would call a professional grade video operation here. The camera is not a tripod, I don't have the best lighting. I don't have a professional microphone here. I don't have a great camera that I'm working with. I don't edit it at all. I don't have any script. I don't have, have the words popping up on the screen and interesting angles coming in and out because I'm shooting it from multiple angles and later I have an editor edit it all together and it looks great and splice in some music and some fancy graphics and the, none of that. It's just raw. You, 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 what you see is what you get. I just hold up the camera and I go and I pontificate on whatever business tip I'm going to give for the day. Uh, what that does, however, even though it's not, and I don't know if it's ever going to be, professional and well done in the world of videos and all that kind of stuff, but what it does show, uh, and I hear this a lot from people, it just shows my character, shows who I am. So some people like that, fine, maybe they want to work with me. Some people don't like that, fine, that repels them and I don't have to... Uh, get on a call with them or they don't have to uh, wonder uh, is my personality the type that they want to work with or am I the type of person they want to work with or do they want to work with someone who wears a silly red Hawaiian shirt every single day uh, you know we can get all that out of the way uh, hopefully they can see people tell me they binge watch, binge watch a bunch of my videos and they can tell I know my stuff oh you know your stuff man, you're right on about this. And I look back, you know, they're all on Facebook somewhere, on my blog, on my podcast, YouTube, LinkedIn, where you can scroll back throughout. They're like, man, you really know your stuff. Uh, whatever it was you were talking about, you're always right on the mark. You always got, uh, you know, different ways of saying things. And, you know, I always say I have lots of different ways to skin the cat, which is a horrible analogy or whatever you call it, though. If somebody doesn't like something I suggest, 
did you do with your advertising marketing? Well, I got five or 10 other ways uh, to suggest that you do it. So you're going to find one that you're comfortable with. And uh, with my help, if you're willing to put in that effort to be doing it in the beginning when you're not comfortable and you're not good at it, uh, rest assured, together we will get it working. Whether it's a new ad or a new marketing campaign or an email sequence or social media posts or anything at all to do with marketing, advertising, building growth, money getting aspect of your business. I've done it with thousands and thousands and thousands of business owners over the decades. I've done it myself in dozens of different businesses over the decades. I've done it all over the world, all different types of economies, good, bad, recession, boom time, this, that, whatever politics are going on, whatever's going on with the overall economy, none of that matters. What really matters is what you do with your personal economy and your personal situation. And that I've helped, uh, at last count, it was over 165 different industries. It's probably well over 200 by now. In fact, I, I always challenge anyone to come up with an industry that my concepts and my strategies won't work in and nobody's ever brought one up to me yet. I, I've had a few challenges, but I easily threw a few suggestions at them right off the top of my head, right off the bat. And they were like, oh, okay, so, all right, so that, you're right. It'll work. Bah, 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 bah. So uh, it's almost undoubtable. Prove me wrong. Almost undoubtedly, I can help you in your particular situation with your particular business. Get your advertising and marketing going. Get your revenue and profits way up more than you could ever imagine. But you have to be willing to do some new things and therefore be willing to do them poorly until you do them well, just like I did seven years ago yesterday when I recorded my very first ever first Facebook Live video, and I've recorded one every single day since. So that is it for Throwback Thursday, March 14th, 2024. Thanks to everyone being here live or watching on the replay or on my blog or podcast or whatever platform you're watching this, reading it, listening to it, however you're getting it. I hope you get value out of it. And hope to see you again tomorrow on Foundation Friday. Until then, over and out. We're in year eight. Bye-bye.